Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch News. And for farmers here in Montana and Wyoming, it's been a huge week. That's because it's time for the biannual Malt Barley and Sugar Beet Symposium, which has been underway this week in Billings. Of course, it's hosted by our friends at Montana State University and the University of Wyoming. This year, one of the key presenters was my friend Wade Malchow with Miller Coors. And, and of course, Wade, the barley acreage makes up a huge part of the landscape out here in Montana and Wyoming. Walk us through how the barley industry is these days. Well, you know, there's a lot of change going on in the industry, starting with brewing. Uh, our parent company has changed, Molson Coors. Uh, now we are a, a wholly owned subsidiary of Molson Coors. Uh, so it gives us a, a bit of a global perspective that uh, we haven't managed to before. Um, last year was a big year for us. Uh, we had a really big crop and, and so it's, it, we aren't contracting quite as many acres as we bef uh, were before. So that's a bit of an impact on these guys and today we're here to talk about some of those kind of changes and uh, the good news is they've been pretty receptive and they understand the business side of this thing and that it can be cyclical like that and so it's it's been good to catch up with them, good to have those conversations, keep those relationships rock solid. Well, you guys have been a huge economic driver in Montana and Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado for years, Wade, and, and people aren't going to stop drinking beer. And like you said, it's cyclical like the agriculture industry is, but you've also in the previous years made huge expansions, and you're growing malt barley in a lot more places in Montana and Wyoming than you were just a few years ago. Sure, we've, we have expanded a lot in Montana with our, our new facility up in power. Uh, we've done capital expansion work in Huntley, Montana, just down the road from this meeting. And we've been we've been investing some capital in a lot of our facilities to make sure they're there and sound for the next generation, and that's important to do to keep this part of the business viable. Another thing is, as we've released two new varieties this last year, we'll be full scale with those two varieties in Montana on the dry land and the irrigated. That's Bill Coors 100 on the irrigated and Moravian 165 on the dry land big investments for us, but we're looking to get good big dividends through the growers and the quality they produce with those new varieties. And before I let you go, I mean, as we look at things from the brewery down there in Golden, Colorado, I mean, you still have the support of guys like Pete Coors to do whatever it takes to support these farmers and ranchers up here. Absolutely. Pete's been a big fan of the program for years, but so has the rest of the management team down there. Uh, obviously, a program like this wouldn't survive without that kind of support, so we greatly appreciate it. The growers here I know certainly appreciate it. We appreciate you being on the program with us again. Wade Malchow with Miller Coors, one of this year's presenters here at the Montana and Wyoming Malt Barley and Sugar Beet Symposium in Billings. Now this.